Pilgue has revealed the latest update of 3D Code 2021.53. It brings to you many new features, bug fixes, and workflow enhancements. When painting over the PBR texture or the mesh, the new RGB cavity can be used as the default RGB cavity calculation method in texturing. And multi-range cavity will be calculated on the GPU. In addition to that, the cavity function works on the spin edges. Furthermore, they will be active on different depths as more or less on concave, convex, flat or curved. The new parameter is responsible for the radius cavity. It is also affected by the degree and contrast adjustment and it allows you to modify the cavity width and smoothing in real time. The main advantage of this update is that it allows you to realize more realistic PBR texturing. So it is considered a big step and an important feature in PBR painting. 3D Coat update also embraces the smart materials where an existing folder has been entirely updated with a lot of new features including considering all textures names aliases. In addition to all types of maps, and recovering displacement from the normal map in addition to assigning cube mapping and generating the preview. The partial voxelization problem has been fixed, an invisible square border used to appear around the modifier area. Now with these fixes, partial voxelization became clean. 3D code also got an auto-updater by allowing you to access the updates manager. Before this addition, the users had to go to the website and more specifically to the section that covers the latest updates and new beta builds. Now it is much more easier because it is inside 3D code. The updates manager has been added to the start menu and help menu to indicate if there are new updates and allows access to the latest updates page with its release notes and gives you a hand to install the new releases and shows you the ones that already have. 3D code is also washing out the dirt and grime of old times. Numerous bug fixes came with this update and a lot of problems have been fixed including the move tool deleting panoramic dialogue fix, cube mapping, and other mapping fixes. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and check some of our old videos, and I'll see you in the next one.